Okay, this is going to be your first experience in doing an isometric drawing. The key to isometric drawings is that all the lines are in 30 degree angles and AutoCAD does that for you. Um, these drawings are pretty simple. And then the main thing that you need to know is that you cannot draw a line that's on an angle that's an isometric. You draw from point to point and you'll see that when we go through the lecture. The setup is the most important thing. So as we go through here, we're going to open up the first block. One is called the isometric corner block. So we're going to go to file, open. We're going to go to our shared drive. Okay. And we're going to click on the corner block. And we are going to turn off the tip layer right away. Okay. And then we're going to get started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to come down here in this area and make sure that your grid is at the ISO grid. This is the ISO grid. Okay. And if you take a look here, you're going to see that this, when I put this on here, I know that it's an ISO grid because the green and the red crosshairs are sitting there. All right. When we're in our ISO grid now, the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we have ortho on. Ortho is F8. Okay. And it's right down here as well. So we need ISO grid and ISO drafting. All right, we take a look. We're going to draw the bottom. We're going to start in this corner and work our way around, go up, do the top, and then we'll come back and we'll get that at the very end. So as I'm looking at my grid here, I'm going to start in the bottom corner, making sure with my line command that ortho is on, coming in this direction, two and one eighth. Okay, I need to go back on an angle. I'm going to press F5. 1 and 11 sixteenths, dash 11 sixteenths. Again, we're making sure ortho's on. I need to come back in the other direction, pressing F5 once again. F5, and it's going to be a 1. And we're going to go back in that direction, 2 dash 3 slash 8. It's 2 and 3 eighths. We're going to come up again, so we're going to do another F5. F5 is going to make change my cursor. That's F8. We want F5 to come up, and we're going to come in 2 dash 5 eighths. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back on an angle, 3 and 1 eighth. And pause this if you're if it's going too fast. F5 to come back, 2 dash 3 slash 8. I'm going to come back across here, just like we did before. That's the same, 3 and 1 eighth. Okay. And then if I did it right, I should be able to come right down to that spot right there and connect it. And I can connect this line right here. All right. So those lines are the same. What it is on one side of the box, it is on the other. Okay. Over here in the back corner, we need to come down the height of the box. I'm pressing F5 is two and five eighths, just like it was in that first leg of the box. Okay. And then again, I can come back here and just connect that as well. In the front, before we get that angle, we're gonna come back over to here. This side of the box is coming up one. It comes back across two and one eighth. It's gonna come down right to there. We are almost complete. I'm gonna click here to create that angle. I need this spot in the angle to there. I need, um, and I need to come up here to create that other spot, and this is going to come up the same height, which is 2 and 5 eighths. Now I have that spot that's going right there. I'm going to connect from here to there, and the only line that I'm missing is in the very back of the box that's going to go from there to there. All right, it takes a little while. Make sure that you had ortho on, and you have F8 is ortho, and you're in your ISO drafting. These two lines in the back are dashed. We're going to turn these into hidden lines, and you have now completed your first isometric drawing. Go slow. Make sure you have the green and red. Use ortho, and you should be all set.